So this is Martin Alvary reporting for the Comet newspaper in Stevenage outside the List Hospital today. It appears there's been some kind of major cyber attack on the computers in the hospital today and they've had to shut down all of their IT machines um, after receiving messages that the hospital was under attack. Um, it appears this is part of a UK-wide attack and in fact some 14 sites have been uh, targeted by whoever these cyber criminals are and it seems that they've demanded a £23 million ransom. We're getting that off the record so far. Um, the upshot of it is that uh, patients coming into hospital today are being diverted away from A&E, being told they can't go to A&E for emergency treatment, they've been taken elsewhere by ambulance. Um, some patients we've spoken to have been able to come in and be treated, others have been turned away. One man we spoke to was actually had been able to have his wife give birth during the cyber attack. The midwives um, were able to continue as usual and were very professional, we understand, in delivering that service and delivering the baby boy. Um, another couple said they'd waited a year from an appointment and had been turned away um, from the hospital today. And um, as I say, it's unconfirmed at the moment, but this does appear to be a major cyber attack affecting 14 sites across the UK. And the police are here, there is a police presence here, um, and people appear to be coming and going from the hospital as, as normal. Um, there's no sense of any uh, physical danger to people, but it's clearly an incident that is causing a great deal of worry for staff. One couple said to me the fear is with staff inside the hospitals that they can't talk to each other, on the, even on the phones or by email or any communication, in, for fear that that data may now be uh, shared publicly. So it seems that this is some kind of threat that um, data will be shared with members of the public uh, if the ransom is not paid. We'll try our best to keep you updated here as we go.